Ever wondered what it takes to balance love and professional tennis at the highest level? Today we dive into the story of Yannick Sinner and Anna Kalinskaya, the new power couple in tennis. Stick around to learn how they met, how they support each other, and what challenges they've faced together. In this video we'll explore How did Yannick Sinner and Anna Kalinskaya meet and fall in love? How do they support each other on and off the court? What challenges have they faced together? And what's next for this dynamic duo? Stick around as we reveal exclusive insights, including their private moments, challenges, and what their relationship means for their tennis careers. We'll also share some fun, behind-the-scenes stories and their future plans. Did you know Yannick and Anna have taken the tennis world by storm? Not just with their skills, but with their relationship. Yannick Sinner 22 has had an amazing year, becoming the world's number one and winning his first Grand Slam in Australia. He also landed a lucrative Gucci ambassadorship. Anna Kalinskaya, 25, from Moscow, Russia, is ranked 18 in the WTA rankings. Their relationship began making headlines during the French Open, when Sinner confirmed they were dating. Anna expressed pride in Sinner's achievements, and Yannick congratulated Anna on her victories, showing their mutual support. So how did these two lovebirds meet? Sinner and Kalinskaya met on the tennis circuit, initially as professional acquaintances. Their initial encounters were marked by respectful nods during tournaments and practice sessions. Both were rising stars in the competitive world of tennis, making their way in the sport. Their connections grew stronger during a shared practice session, where they discovered mutual interests beyond tennis, like Italian food, music, and travel. How do top athletes maintain a relationship amidst their busy schedules? As their friendship deepened, so did their feelings for each other. They spent more time together off the court, exploring cities during tournaments, sharing meals, and supporting each other during matches. Despite their busy schedules, they made time for early morning runs, quiet dinners, and late night talks about their dreams. Their bond grew stronger finding comfort and encouragement in each other's presence. When and how did they go public with their relationship? Their relationship became more serious and they decided to share their love with the world during the French Open. Sinner confirmed their relationship during a press conference saying, I'm with Anna, yes, but we keep everything very confidential. Their first public appearance as a couple received support from fans and fellow players. Despite this, both prefer to keep their private lives private. Sinner explained to Vanity Fair Italia that he wants to protect those closest to him from the spotlight. Kalinskaya hasn't commented much on their relationship publicly, but is often seen supporting Sinner courtside and watching his matches intently. Her presence shows their strong bond and mutual support. How do they support each other in their professional careers? Despite their desire for privacy, Sinner and Kalinskaya frequently support each other during matches. Sinner was spotted cheering for Kalinskaya at Wimbledon, where she reached the round of 16 for the first time. Kalinskaya has also been photographed cheering for Sinner, including at the French Open and Wimbledon. At Roland Garros, Kalinskaya proudly supported Sinner during his semi-final run on clay after his loss to Carlos Alcaraz. More recently, Sinner congratulated Kalinskaya after her first round victory against Nao Habino at the German Open, commenting with romantic emojis under her highlights reel. The support paid off as Kalinskaya won her next match in Berlin, beating former Wimbledon champion Marketa Vandrosova.
What's the latest on their mutual support? After winning the 2024 Halle Open in Germany, Sinner congratulated Kalinskaya on her performance in Berlin despite her loss to Jessica Pagula. He expressed sympathy for her close match, but praised her effort, saying, My girlfriend Anna played in Berlin today. She lost with six match points, so I am very sorry for her, but she also had an amazing week. What challenges have they faced recently? Italian fans had high expectations for Yannick Sinner at the 2024 Wimbledon Championships. Bookmakers had him as a favorite, but he was eliminated in the quarterfinals by Daniil Medvedev. Sinner was struggling with the virus before the match, affecting his performance. Despite the loss, he will remain number one in the world rankings. Sinner planned to play in the ATP in Bastad but decided to rest and train for the Paris Olympics instead. He hopes to win gold in both singles and doubles with Lorenzo Musetti. After their Wimbledon run, Sinner took a break and went to Costa Smeralda with Kalinskaya. They were seen together at the airport, ready for a short vacation. After the break, Sinner returned to Monte Carlo to train on the red clay for the Olympics. In a press conference, he admitted not feeling great during the match against Medvedev, but chose to play through it. What fun moments have they shared? Recently, during an episode on Daria Kasatkina's YouTube channel, What the Vlog, Kasatkina playfully asked Helen Skaya, How is your life? Helen Skaya, surprised by the timing, responded, are you only asking me on camera, not before that? They shared a lighthearted moment with Kasatkina continuing the playful banner about carrot cake. This interaction showed a more personal side of Kalinskaya and hinted at the fun and supportive nature of her relationship with Sinner. What do the coaches think about their relationship? Patricia Terabini Helenskaya's coach shared insights into the relationship in an interview. She praised both Sinner and Kalinskaya, highlighting their similarities and their desire to keep their private lives out of the spotlight. She mentioned that the relationship has positively influenced their tennis performance. How did their past relationships shape their present? Before dating each other, Sinner was romantically linked to Italian model Maria Braccini, and Kalinskaya dated fellow tennis player Nick Kyrgios from 2019 to 2020. These past relationships are now behind them as they focus on their future together. How do they keep their relationship strong? Even though they prefer to keep their relationship private, Sinner and Kalinskaya are often seen smiling together at their matches. In preparation for Wimbledon, they were seen training together, laughing, and easing each other's nerves before the major tournament. Their shared moments of joy and support highlight the strength of their relationship. How do they compare to other famous tennis couples? Sinner and Kalinskaya aim to emulate the success of other famous tennis couples like Katie Bolter and Alex de Manure, who often win tournaments on the same day. Bolter recently defended her Nottingham Open title, while de Manure won in the Netherlands on the same day. Their ability to win at the same time has become a notable part of their relationship. Similarly, Sinner and Kalinskaya hope to achieve such synchronized success. They also draw comparisons to Stefanos Tsitsipas and Paula Bedosa, another well-known tennis couple. In a world where professional demands often overshadow personal lives, Yannick Sinner and Anna Kalinskaya's story is a heartwarming tale of passion, dedication, and love. It proves that even in the most competitive environments, love can flourish. 
Whether it's winning Grand Slam titles or exploring new destinations together, Sinner and Kalinskaya are ready to face whatever comes their way hand in hand. Their story is a testament to the power of love, showing that with mutual respect, understanding, and support, anything is possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on your favorite tennis stars. Thanks for watching Tennis Tenacity.